How's it going, YouTube? This is NorCalDo599 here along with ThunderBuddy01. Oh. And then I'm also joined here by these wonderful people on the Discord VC. Hey, let me turn my webcam. Seriously? Uh, who's who's the uh, EAS Polo 420? Oh. Radioactive Girl 00. Radioactive Girl and EK Yomiuri is best boy in Super Diamond Rope Button Other 2. <laughs> God damn it, Lux. <laughs> Anyways, you can either call me the Gaming Kingpin or SPC Ashland, whichever. <laughs> What uh, the fuck? And, <laughs> and there goes and, and there and goes his go, camera. Yeah. Anyways, who are you in the and last position? Position. That is a uh, Vanna Montana 106. I am not sure where she is at the current moment. Oh my god! Look at that, Nicholas. Look, what? At, look at the look at my screen. Oh oh yeah yeah the, the infrared. infrared yeah. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Anyways, before I get sidetracked and time runs out, yeah, uh, I'm doing a behind-the-scenes video on how Nicholas edited, ed edits his videos before up being uploaded to YouTube. So, Nicholas, you want to go ahead and explain to everybody how it's done? Sure, yeah. So, if I grab my camera here, so I record my videos on this Sony Handycam CS455. It is, a, it is a $500 H camera. I got this for Christmas a few months ago. I want to say a few months ago, literally back in December. And <laughs> after I record all the videos on this, mm -hmm. I insert the micro SD card into this little adapter right here. This yeah, kind of like the same, same adapter that I have on this camera right now. Yep. And then what I do is, because I have a Mac that was actually designed well, I put this adapter into the SD card reader. Just and like that. Normally there would be a little folder with uh, with all the uh, icons and all with, with all those videos and all that. But for uh, but for this sake, I'll just use this uh, EAS Sins Revive folder. So pretend all of these are videos. Okay. Actually, not yeah. I'll use this since this is an actual video. So what I do is I move the video from the SD card into my alerts folder. Mm-hmm. But more specifically, I put that into an alerts folder and into the alerts folder with a new folder that has the exact date that the that the videos were recorded. All right. Um, but since this is not like an actual EAS video, I'm going to keep it in there just for demonstration purposes. Okay. So right now, if you see over there, I have Camtasia 2021 open, mm -hmm. and right now I am currently working on the National Periodic Test and Others compilation. Yep. Uh, before, Stay tuned for that. Yep. And I will. And before I forget, I'm gonna give uh, footage credits to NorCal Dude 599, Clay Ranger 143, and Norfolk Southern Storm. They all contributed to this compilation because I was bouncing back and forth between stations in my office, which we're we're currently at right now. Yep. So once I put all the uh, videos into the right folder, I import them into Camtasia's <laughs> media bin. And you can see all of these videos right here. Those are all the videos that I'm going to be getting, that I'm going to be featuring in this compilation of alerts from August 11th. Mm -hmm. And I put them all in the timeline. This this little thing down here. And I use these special little text boxes over here to label the alerts. And if you're wondering how where do you get these colors from, and that is where this comes in. This gigantic, I say gigantic, but this spreadsheet that I made. So what I did was I used the combination of Clay Ranger 143's videos and the National Weather Service uh, alert color table that they use, and I pretty much combined that. I I combined the I combined the I, I spread the text out in between the colors out between two things: the text box and the text itself. The text box will usually have the color of the of the alert, and the text is normally it's either black or white. But for special alerts like TORC or PDS TORC or, and all that, 
Mm -hmm. I, I come up with special color combinations. All right. Same thing for like the National Periodic Test. I just scrolled right by it. So right here is actually a perfect example. I have a blue text box, which is at 50% opacity. So you can at least see what I got without having it, without having it blocked off. Yeah. And I have red text. Because, mm -hmm. you know, national periodic test, those only happen really in the United States. So red and blue, perfectly fitting. <laughs> now, for stuff like required monthly tests, like right here is some uh, footage of Ohio's monthly test from the very early, early morning hours on the 11th. Yeah. I have a white text box and black text. Sometimes I might alternate it if I'm feeling uh, spicy, but whatever. And once the actual alerts, like Severe Thunderstorm Watch and all that come in, mm -hmm. I move on from this little category here of tests to these, uh, these two categories here, short fuse and long fuse weather. Because, believe it or not, there are actually some differences with the alerts that are posted through, uh, through NOAA Weather Radio. So, let's say, for example, a severe thunderstorm watch is issued for portions of Illinois. Okay. Just as, a, just as an example. A severe thunderstorm watch would be considered a long fuse weather alert because it's spread out. <laughs> because it, so this would be this would be considered as a long fuse weather event because it's spread out over a long duration. Mm-hmm. And severe thunderstorm watch. Let's say it's a conventional watch. I go to this one and I match the the text box color with this in here. Now let's say if as a as another example. Let's say if I get a river flood warning for New London County, where the Yantic River is. Yeah. What I do is I do. I do. I think I might have switched this around at some point, but I don't remember. But <laughs> but what I did was I did. I take the RGB code for the text box, and then I overlay the text with that RGB code right over there. All right. And. Once I put all the videos together and make sure that I don't that I didn't accidentally miscount my alerts because I am trying my hardest to not do that. I've done that quite a lot in 2020. Yeah, you're not the only one. I've 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 done that stuff too, and psh, it's a pain in the ass to to deal with. Oh yeah, but once I put all the videos together and compile them and label them all, I think of like some sort of like cool or whatever title mm -hmm. and I export it with the range of alerts that that were posted <clears throat> and once the videos are exported I pull up good old Safari over here I go to YouTube studio which now has dark mode finally <laughs> yeah seriously that's it's been long overdue and right here you can see all my videos that I currently posted but Again, this is. I'll just demonstrate this real quick. So I go to upload videos, mm -hmm. and I'm just going to use a uh, sample video just to just for, just for the demonstration holiday. purposes. So this, so this is just a. Uh, this version is strictly for demonstration purposes only. Oh Jesus Christ, <laughs> Drew! <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, so as you can see here, it, my description is already filled out thanks to YouTube's defaults. So let's say. Um, then that's my phone over there. Alright. I'm um, trying to think of a good... Uh... Actually, you know what? Hold that thought. You're, you might see how this, uh, how, how this whole video editing thing works. Actually, the recording side of it, because Pittsburgh just issued a flood warning for Brook and Hancock counties in West Virginia. And if I go to my spark real quick, thank God you're recording. Yep. There is a station over in Wheeling, West Virginia... That's on 11.70 a.m. That relays flood warnings. If I can pull it up. Oh my god. Weather message. For the following counties, Jefferson, Ohio, and the following counties in West Virginia, Brook and Hancock, and Washington, Pennsylvania. The National Weather Service in Pittsburgh has issued a flood warning for urban areas and small stream in southeastern Jefferson, Ohio County, and east central Ohio. Eh. Southwestern Pennsylvania, northwestern Washington County, and southwestern Pennsylvania, southwestern Arkansas County, and west central Pennsylvania, southeastern Butler County, and west central Pennsylvania. 
central Pennsylvania. Southern Beaver County is central Pennsylvania. Jeez, Will Township. Township. That sounds really familiar. Robinson Township, Harrison Township, Economy, O'Hara Township, Bellevue, Kennedy Township, and Enbridge. Additional rainfall amounts of 0.5 to 1 if they're possible in the Warren area. Turn around. Most of flood deaths occur in vehicles. Especially cautious at night when it is harder to recognize the dangers of flooding. Okay, that was WWVA AM in Wheeling, West Virginia. They just relayed a Pittsburgh sense flood warning. Well then. So yeah, oh. now, now you can't say that you missed the Pittsburgh warning because Wheeling, West Virginia came in clutch. That it did. Well then. Yep. When did the when did the local seventy search history book? I think they've been doing while. that for a while. But anyways, so just now where have you been this entire time? Not here. Oh. <laughs> Oof. All right. So anyways, <laughs> so now that we covered, now that you saw a physical example of the recording part, uh, let's get back to the upload part because that's what that's what I was talking about first. So thank you Pittsburgh, by the way. Yeah. Thank and you, thank Pittsburgh. you WWVA. So let's say this is a. So let's say so let's pretend that this video is just like a a a, a resend of the natural periodic test over my EasyCast and my Sage. So let's say this is a totally fun national test and EAS. I don't know, maybe forty thousand two hundred seventy-five to forty thousand two hundred seventy-six. <laughs> And I'm not actually going to be uploading this, this is just for demonstration. So after this is all done, what I would do is I go, I scroll down to the playlist tab, and I click on the the, the current year EAS playlist. For this, it's 2021. Next year will be 2022, etc., etc. I'm not going to do this because then it'll freaking mess up the playlist itself. Uh, monetization, because I like because I like getting ad revenue, I automatically enable it. Money simp. Oh my, okay, who doesn't like getting money from YouTube? <laughs> I would have if I had enough watch hours. I'm not even close. I think you said who doesn't like getting money from YouTube. So then, uh, so then add suitability because there's no swearing. All I check, uh, I check none of the above. There's like no, there's no, uh, there's no swearing. There's no adult content. There's no violence. I would hope. No shocking content, no harmful or dangerous acts, no recreational drug content, no hateful or derogatory content, no, nothing related to firearms, nothing related to se sensitive events like war, death, or tragedies, and nothing that's uh, talking about controversial issues. Then I hit submit. And uh, now, normally, if this, if this was a compilation, I would I would automatically add a compilation. Uh, that. I would add an end screen from one of my previously uploaded videos, mm -hmm. which YouTube actually added this in, and oh my god, it is a fucking lifesaver that where, when you can add an end screen from a previously uploaded video before the video's already started processing. That is a lifesaver. So here's how I would normally do it. I would go to import and import from video because for some reason it doesn't do it automatically. Now I'll click on the uh, the latest compilation that I uploaded because all my compilations have an end screen. Yeah. Save. Phoenix. Next. Now it'll automatically check for copyrighted content, but and then I then I automatically set it to public. Now if it's something like EAS scenario sins, I might consider doing an instant premiere. But this is just like an alert, and for this example, an alert compilation. We're not going to be doing a premiere because honestly, 
who premieres EAS compilations. Ew. Publish and publish. But like I said, this is just for demonstration purposes. So what I'm going to do is delete this. So yeah, that's pretty much how I how videos go from the camera to my computer to YouTube. Nice. <clears throat> yep. It's probably better if I cancel the upload instead. Right. Me as well. All right. So, is there any questions that you guys have? Uh, mainly for the people on the VC, because I don't know if this is a, because this is not a live stream. Anyone got any questions? I do. All right. So, like, on average, how many <clears throat> hours per day, or minutes to hours per day, do you spend on, you know, editing videos and such? Like, for example, uh, uh, a large compilation, like, for your Sheer Nuttiness series. Okay, those are probably, like, one of my longest compilations I've ever had to put my time and effort into. They... Jesus Christ, I am, but... For a sheer nightmare compilation, I probably average like around maybe Yancey <laughs> Michael is uh, peeking his head in through the door like he's fucking uh, what's his face? Like uh, like like uh, oh I know, like a great value version of Scarce. It was gonna use it Scarce here. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, you missed the flood warning relay. From where? WWBA in Wheeling, West yeah, Virginia. Yeah, they yeah like Pittsburgh a issued a flood warning. For Aerial West, flood warning. Yeah, for some of the West, for some of the West Virginia counties. Uh, I didn't even know they relayed flood warnings. I thought I thought you knew this. this. No. Well, now oh, you do. So that's another station I know now. Yep. yep. Anyway. As he go as he goes back to play with the no. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so for a sheer night, it's oh Cleveland got involved again. For what? I thought I, I thought I just seen that it said Cleveland. Yep, SVR for Knox and Morrow. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Zion Stringer. <laughs> yeah. He can get those counties, can't yep. he? Oh. Man. Wilmington severe thunderstorm warning for Delaware. Delaware. Oh man, right again. Oh shit. Anyway, so I'll be right. I'm gonna go use the bathroom real quick. By the way, Rudy is bean. Yes. But anyways, so a sheer night is compilation. Honestly, I remember editing sheer night is nine. I was up all night, like multiple hours on end. I think I started uh -huh. editing around. Uh, I think it was around 10:30, 11 o'clock. Yeah. And I finally finished editing like around uh, 6 a.m., maybe even 7 a.m. the next day. Holy shit. Yeah. Damn. But with something like an RWT, uh -huh. that would take me around like uh, like maybe, I honestly don't even know. I don't even keep track of this type of stuff. But nice. I know Sheer Nidus, Sheer Nidus compilations take the longest. Huh. Especially when like, considering how, uh, like, if it's a tropical weather event, yeah. If it's a tropical event, then it's gonna take even longer because I gotta compile alerts from multiple days, and I also gotta come up with special intros for Sheer Nightus episodes as well. Hmm. Well, that, yeah, no, Miami. That's Miami. I'm in Miami, bitch. Jeez. Um. too much. <laughs> so that's. Always relay alerts when you're least expected. You're a bunch of assholes. It went by me. Welcome to CLE. Anyway, <laughs> so that's a kind of a quick overview of how long uh, of how long it takes to get a student artist compilation and all that. Here we go again. All right. Um. Anything else? Uh. No. I think that's a. Nope. About it. I mean, if there's any other questions or such, I'm pretty sure you know people will leave them down in the comments below. All right. Um, do, do any of you in the VC have any questions? I'm good. All right. Yeah, because almost half of you are asleep. <laughs> All right. So, so I guess that pretty much covers it then. Yeah. Yeah, cause I don't got I don't got anything else to say. And damn you, battery! Oh, it's almost dead, isn't it? Yeah, it is. All right, um, let, let me. Um, all right, let me finish up this outro then. 
Well, then that. Thank you guys so much for watching. This has been a uh, basically a brief uh, brief video on how uh, Nicholas uh, edits. You know what I mean. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this. Don't forget to subscribe to Thunder Buddy 01 over here, Norfolk Southern Storm, and then Clay Banger 69, I mean Clay Ranger 143. And also don't forget to subscribe to everyone in the VC here. And hello to you too, Las Vegas, with a flash blood warning. Me Oh, geez. Pretty much. So, so yeah, this is your host, NorCal Dude 599, signing off along with. Thunderbody01. Uh, and then with these guys on the VC, go ahead. Before Javier's battery dies, it would be nice. Yeah. Yeah, it's mostly chaotic and crazy. Stand by. Oh, wait, no, Drew. Yeah, Drew's, Drew's going next. Uh, Alright, fine, I'm leaving. I'm just kidding. Yes, that's right, 25. Now, Chandler, go. Yes, yes, full of 420. Zero. Zero? Just, just go, Rudy. Rudy, I'm Delia VA, and it's Super Dying and Robin 2, DK, Yomi, you're the ultimate journal. Still best boy. <laughs> Goodness. And uh, I think she, I think she was away from her microphone during the uh, during the beginning. So I'll say her name. Uh, All right, that's fine. Uh, Vanna Montana 106. Alrighty. Well. Yeah, radiation, radiation woman. I believe said her name, but her mic cut out. Yeah. Well, we 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 already know who she is. But anyways, uh, we'll see you guys next time.